So hello everybody and welcome. So let's see what the Power BI team has created for us in the March 2022 update, shall we? Let's get started. Okay, first of all, they want to warn us the new format pin is here to stay and in May you will not be able to disable it. So make sure that you start checking it out, get feedback, you can get feedback directly you know from power bi you don't need to go to ideas power so do that and get used to it because it's here to stay the second update is that they have added error bars too for where i can see the line chart i've tried to see there was another uh, visualization so i couldn't see it error bars have like a very specific target group that use them you probably are not one of them but anyway they're interesting to know so on Next week I will talk about error bars on how to read these type of charts in case you start seeing them in Power BI. So the next one is a little bit of a bug fix because apparently dynamic form and strings were applied differently on different visuals. So now they have fixed that. So for analysis services, data sources and calculation groups, dynamic format strings will now be supported for all categorical visuals. Okay. So now the most controversial update this month <laughs> is not sure maps or sure maps. Here's the thing: there's a good, very, very good update on Azure Maps, and is that it has now a location field. Before you had to have latitude and longitude in order to be able to use it, and for most business use cases you don't and it's a mess to have to go and grab it so now you can have location which is actually very very good that's not the controversial one the controversial one is they have added pie charts that were the same that we have had on the map visual and power bi to Azure maps and the power bi team has got already no heat so let's move on so for power bi files that have sensitivity levels applied to them there was a two gigabyte file size limitation is gone so now you can save even when it's bigger than two gigabytes and last but not least i reported last month that the multi-car was now able to cross filter all visuals well apparently it didn't ship i actually didn't notice but if you did notice it's now back so in this version in march update is now available so for the power bi service they have made some updates on the data set uh, have a uh, home and you have now three tabs you have the possibility to see all data sets you have the possibility to see your the ones that you create and you're responsible for and you have the possibility to see the ones that your organization has promoted so there are two improvements on power bi goals the first one is that you can now create your own statuses and the second one is that you have two new notifications the first one is when somebody updates a goal and the next one is when somebody adds a new check-in or edits an existing check-in well for custom visuals charticulator has been certified i thought it was certified last month but maybe it wasn't so apparently it's certified now and uh, they have added some bug fixes one of the ones i think they have added is that you can now specify how many ticks you have on the x and y uh, coordinates oh it's super cool among other things so yeah give it a go so now last but not least you can create power bi files directly from sharepoint document libraries which is a neat improvement for those that quickly want to have an overview of your library uh, you have now you are going to see a new layout for home that is supposed to be uh, easier to read and the last one is updated slicer defaults for accessibility improvements and they gave a json snippet i would love 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 for the power bi team every time they add a new property to any visual that they would give us a json snippet also so fingers crossed we'll do that that's all folks what's your favorite one i mean this is this has been like a, a not many updates this month um, for me it has to be like the location for azure maps that's going to be definitely useful if you say it's the pie charts on azure you and i need to have a serious talk <laughs> okay guys girls ladies have a fantastic weekend i will see you again next week let's talk about error bars what the heck is that and uh, i'm very 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 close to actually finishing the new json template hopefully next week we'll see we'll see i'll keep you informed anyhow 
Good weekend. See you next week. Bye-bye.